Hello, Thursday 25th of May 2011, about 11.15 in the morning. Chris Redden with today's uh, United Kingdom talk. Warm welcome along to you. I'm, I'm out in the open today in a nice little uh, place called Binfield. Um, reason being I'm having my, my little Toyota iGo serviced at the moment. And it's just down the road and I've come out for a walk because it's going to be about two and a half hours. Oh yes. It's a long one today. We're going to have to be spending money today. Not only that, but an MOT as well, dear. I mean, the expense just goes on and on. Now, first of all, I'd just like to wish someone a happy birthday today. Um, a regular, regular correspondent to the show. He disappeared for a while and is back again now. The name of Robert in Iceland. Yes, boys and girls, I did say Iceland. He's the man that's sitting there at the moment in Iceland with his finger poised over an array of buttons, ready to give another eruption, boys and girls. You don't think these things happen naturally, do you? Certainly not. Can you hear the dogs barking? I can hear dogs barking. Do you think it's that they can hear me talking? See, they want to join in. I am a great pet lover. It's just squirrels I don't like. Anyway, Robert from Iceland, who recently uh, was fully responsible for the latest ash cloud, which swept over the UK yesterday and is now going over to Germany. We are sending, we are, everyone in the UK came out of their homes yesterday afternoon and we blew, boys and girls. We, we blew, we blew the ash cloud over towards Germany. Okay? So those of you that are hoping to go on the holiday um, uh, at the weekend, it should be okay if you're going from the UK, but you're in Ger if you're in Germany, you're not going to have any chance whatsoever, I'm afraid, because the ash cloud <laughs> has been blown away from the UK by our lovely population. Anyway, Robert, it is Robert's birthday, or was Robert's birthday, just a day or so ago, so we must wish you happy birthday. Now, as you can see, I am in the middle of the Royal Berkshire countryside today, so I, I don't have my full orchestra my pianist, my violins, my drummers, my bassoonist, my clarinet player, my flute player, none of my violin, I've done violin, it's my viola, what, what, what's that, what's that large violin, is that a viola? Yes, no, no bass, no bass guitar, nothing here, only me, so I'm afraid you'll have to have your happy birthday unaccompanied. Are you ready? <coughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Robert in Iceland, please stop pushing the eruption buttons on the volcanoes, and can we have our money back please here in the UK? Happy birthday to you. So how old are you today Robert? Oh, you must be getting on a little bit now. Is that right? Are you getting, are you as old as me now? Cannot reveal my true age to new viewers. New viewers are looking at this, this program, and they're thinking, how is it that someone so young and gorgeous is able to stand there and chat away to himself? Well, because there's no one else to talk to. It's only you. There's no one else to talk to. Only you. How lonely is that? I mean, I suppose I could go and start trying to talk to the dogs. <coughs> Well, that's funny, they've stopped. Listen, obviously I'm talking in the same language as the dogs, or maybe I can find a few insects to talk to, but basically there are no other humans in this vortex at the moment. Happy birthday, Robert. I hope you had a really nice time, my friend, okay? Do send me a private email back, because I'm dying to know what your true age is. Robert in Iceland, he flies planes, you know. No, not jumbo jets, the little planes, you know, two or three, two or four seaters. I think they're called Cess Cessnias. Something like a cesspit. I know that. Yes, po possibly a cesslia. Now, um, a little bit of uh, news. Uh, do you remember I went to see the Barry Manilow concert a couple of weeks ago when I stopped doing the, the regular shows? I have to tell you, absolutely amazing experience. We went to see uh, me and my best friend Ron Barry Manilow at the uh, O2 Arena in uh, Greenwich in London. Bit of a nightmare with the traffic getting there and back. It is always the same there. But a really fantastic experience. Uh, we had the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra on the stage. Uh, Barry was there as well. And uh, a couple of guest uh, singers, uh, some woman who was, uh, she was blooming good actually. Uh, the warm-up acts were very good. Not my cup of tea. They were like, um, 
barber quartet singers, you know, you know when it's just male voices. Not really my cup of tea. I'm, I'm not too keen on the a cappella type stuff. That's when they have uh, singing but no music. I, I do like the full orchestra and all that. Um, our seat, well, we were a little bit high up, but we could see all the stage. The sound was just superb, absolutely superb in here. And um, the place was full of middle to older ladies, I have to say, who were acting, it was hilarious, acting like teenage schoolgirls, screaming and shouting at the stage all the time. I mean, quite, quite honestly, I was waiting for a few knickers to go flying past my head onto the stage at Barry. What a totally and utterly talented man he is. He looks a bit odd now because he's got, he's got so much face um, uh, surgery done. But you know what? It, it doesn't change the way you feel about him, really. I, I, I'm just amazed at the talent of that man and the music. And, you know, he's one of those that goes on forever and ever. You know, a lot of the pop stars in the charts at the moment. I mean, can you see Britney Spears singing at sort of 60 or 70 years old? That sort of thing. I, don't, I, I can't see that somehow. Barry goes on forever. Disney and the show was amazing he did loads of the hits and of course his new song which is called um, uh, I think it's called Bring On Tomorrow that's Barry Manilow's new song type it into the YouTube and uh, you'll find uh, you'll find it on there damn good as well it is okay Bring On Tomorrow is Barry Manilow's uh, latest song um, we didn't eat in there uh, I, th I thought we, we had a look round just before we went into the hall yes I'm sorry I tell a lie we did eat there and it's quite expensive I mean £3.40 for a little thing of chips I think that's a bit much don't you and I think it was £4.80 or £4.60 for a hot dog which is way, way over the top. I think that's even even dearer than it is in the cinema. So I don't recommend uh, that you eat anything um, when you go into the O2. Always try and have something to eat before you leave the house and then go what you're there for, and that is to see the show, right? So if you ever get a chance to see Barry Manilow, then I highly recommend it. Now, I am hoping to see Barry again in October because me and my best friend Ronnie we are going on holiday in October. It's paid for now. Well, I say that, but we've paid for the flights and the hotel accommodation. A very good price. We are going to da -da -da, Las Vegas for seven nights. And uh, we paid about £700 each, which I thought was a very, very fair price. Um, that's flying in the economy. They don't do, we couldn't find premium economy, unfortunately, so we're going to be stuck in the smaller seats. Um, it's an, it's, it, there is a stopover on the flight, so I think we do eight and a half hours and one and a half hours, something like that. But to be honest, when you've flown to Australia 24 hours, you know, eight and a half hours isn't going to seem like a long time on the plane. The only thing is, um, it will be an economy. It didn't have premium economy, and to go business, I mean, it, it jumped up to like £7,000, and, uh, you know, we just can't afford that. So we're going to Las Vegas, and on our list, we are going to see Barry Manilow again. Uh, all these, hopefully, of course, because we haven't got the tickets yet. Elton John is there at that time, so we're hoping to go and see Elton John and Liza Minnelli. And I've uh, met people before who've seen Liza Minnelli shows, so I'm very much looking forward to going to see those three. And we're hoping to go around the Grand Canyon. Ronnie reckons he wants to go on one of the um, helicopter rides. Um, but I, 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 <laughs> you know, I don't like roller coasters, to be honest. You know, I'm not even that keen on getting on a plane. But um, I, I have been on a helicopter ride once uh, over Barbados. And uh, I, I found that a little bit too much. I mean, it, it really is like going on a roller coaster. And what if the thing going round, the rotor stops? We've had it, haven't we? We're just going crashing to the ground. Hopefully I'll get in another two or three shows before then. Now there's an email address if you ever want to send uh, an email to the show. My email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk there's a website for the show uh, unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk all right www.unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk um, but the best way of now watching the show is to subscribe to my youtube channel my youtube username is all one word chris reardon uk c h r i s r e a r d o n uk all right chris reardon UK 
is my web address. Hope you're enjoying the new fo format to the show. Just 10 minutes per video, okay? Shouldn't, shouldn't bore you too much then. For myself, Chris Redden, thanks for watching and listening. I'll see you on the next show. Bye-bye now.